thank you all for joining us. Uh, it's the trucking industry is is in a real slump right now for all sorts of reasons. But I think I think there are five major reasons that uh, is just the things that are destroying trucking right now. And I'm I'm going to start my list with the number one thing I think. Not, not in any particular order, but the first thing I think that's destroying the trucking industry right now is this freight shortage that's going on. And uh, I don't know how many of you have been been feeling this freight shortage. Let me know in the comments if, if you are or if you have been affected. But, but uh, they initially thought that this would end, this freight shortage would end uh, like June of 2024, like last month. And now they're saying, and it shows no signs of, of improving, now they are saying that, well, sometime, sometime being the operative word, sometime in 2025 it'll start to turn around. And, of course, that's not carved in stone either. But what's destroying trucking right now, one of the things, is this massive stretched-out freight shortage. We've seen freight shortages before. But nothing like this, never this long, never this vast and this wide. So it's it's devastating trucking right now. The second thing that's been hurting trucking, destroying trucking, basically, and it's just, it's been onward for the last four years, probably at least, longer than that if, if you look at what I used to pay for diesel fuel. The cost of diesel fuel is stupid ridiculous now it's not quite as bad as it was last year and it's come down a little but it hasn't come down to nearly where it should be did diesel fuel when you look at all the math you should be getting it for like a little over a buck a gallon in my opinion not four bucks a gallon and it's it's part of the oil industry's kickback against this green agenda and they're just charging whatever they can get because they're they're suffering in the sales from this green agenda business. So the price of diesel fuel, absolutely stupid. And it's it's destroying the trucking industry for the small guys. The great big mega carriers can demand a fuel surcharge and at least they'll get something. But the little guy has no leverage to, to get a, a, a fuel surcharge most of the time. So it's that's destroying trucking right now. The third thing is that the costs of operating the truck have all risen, is, have gone through the roof. The price of a new truck, the price of maintaining a truck, the price of buying tires or oil or filters, everything, shop time, everything has just almost doubled in price in the last couple of years. And that's, that's hurting small trucking again, destroying small trucking again. The big carriers, the mega carriers have a certain amount of buying power because they buy in huge volumes. The little guys like us, the, the small carriers and the independents have no buying power whatsoever. We have to pay whatever the rate going is, whatever the, the, the manufacturer says that he needs for that product, be it tires or whatever. So we're at their mercy and the price is, price is doubled in the last couple of years and we we can figure out no way around that. So the price of everything involved with trucking has gone up. It's, it's expensive. It's too expensive now to operate a single unit or a couple of units and be profitable combined with the freight shortage and the, the price of fuel. The fourth thing that's destroying small trucking is the over-regulation of trucking. And it's, you know, this began a number of years ago. This started with the ELD and we all had to jump on that bus because we were forced to, and it costs us money. But there's continuing regulation that keeps costing us money. And we're all having to pay into it because uh, the trucking companies are taking part of their profits and researching all these new things that are coming down the pike, like automatic braking and speed limiting and stuff like that. And they're, they're spending their research money on researching stuff that we don't even want. They could be using that money to pay us better, but they all have their own agendas. And safety safety is a big catchword. It doesn't really mean that it's truly safer, but they're going to go with that because that appeases the general public outlook of trucking. So they're going to mandate all these stupid things like automatic braking and speed limiters that, 
that don't really work. In fact, they cause accidents in a lot of cases. So that's money that's going into something they're interested in to keep their insurance rates down, keep their public perception high, and it's money that we can't get because they're spending it elsewhere. And and the fifth the fifth thing is this this whole green agenda thing that the government has fallen into in the last few years. It's it's causing uh, companies to create biodiesel, for instance, and you know it keeps the farmers happy, but they're putting just anything they can think of into our fuel. And it doesn't matter to anybody, it seems, that it gels up the fuel, the mixtures aren't consistent, it clogs up the injectors, it, it buggers up the motors. They don't care. This, this is, you know, one of their things. They've got to have this biodiesel. The emissions equipment on the truck, another part of the green agenda. The stuff is maintenance cost heavy. It bogs down the engine. It doesn't particularly work very well. It's shot the reliability of, of diesel engines, which were at one time completely reliable. This emission stuff has destroyed that. And with all these things combined, uh, you know, add, adding in the price of the DEF and everything, these these are the five biggest factors I feel that are destroying the trucking industry right now. And I, I say destroy because there's no coming back from any of this stuff. The green agenda is not going to turn around. The maintenance costs aren't going to drop. The fuel prices aren't going to drop. The, you know, operating costs, the regulations are not going to stop over-regulating us. None of these things are going to change. And it's just put the trucking industry, the small business trucking industry, into a, a downward spiral. And it's there, there, there won't be any coming out of it. And that's, that's what concerns me. All the stars are lining up against us. And there's, there, there are more than these five things. There are, there are a whole bunch of other things I could, I could list off the top of my head, like the fact that rail is grabbing more of the freight and stuff like that, and the, that a lot of drivers are dropping out because the wages are too low. The, they can't get anything on the highway anymore but fast food. There's all sorts of factors that are destroying trucking right now. But, but I've listed the, the five biggest ones in my opinion.